Hello programmers welcome to my channel think in java in my previous video we have learned how to make crud operations in couchbase db with the help of java client and the nickel queries so today we are going to learn how to make setup of couchbase db in our windows system and also some kind of indexes and basic queries in the couchbase db so let's start this tutorial So our today's agenda is we will first install the couchbase db then we will create one bucket for making the queries and after that we will create some indexes on the bucket so that we can get the data from the desired bucket and after that we will run some basic queries for example select star from student as i said previously that couchbase is a document based database but it has the power of sql so we can run the general sql queries to fetch the document so our first task is we will download the couchbase setup file from the couchbase website so first we will go to this url and here you can see that we have the four or five type of couchbase versions for example we have enterprise version community version developer version so for our ease we will first install the enterprise version you can also download the community or developer version so my system is windows so i will download the windows version of couchbase currently it is 4.6.1 so we will install this version so let's download it after the download is completed it will get downloaded in our download directory or somewhere else so we will go to the couchbase setup file and here you can see that it is around 204 mbs so first we will install this file now make the next you can also specify the desired path for the installation and install okay now it is saying that please note that you have to update your firewall configuration to allow connection to the following port so we can get it okay and finish so once the setup is successfully installed then we get this kind of window which is couchbase setup window we have to do it only once in the couchbase system so first click on setup so it is saying that start new cluster or join cluster as we don't have any kind of cluster right now so we will create a new cluster so here are one or two points which need to be attention for example data ram quota so in data ram quota you will provide the how much how, how much ram is required in your system for the couchbase successfully running for example if you have 4 gb of ram or 8 gb of ram then you can provide 1 gb to the couchbase so whenever your system will be run 1 gb is allocated to the couchbase system or you can say couchbase db and it will be run in the background 
so depending upon your system ram you will provide here i have 12 gb of ram so i can provide 1 or 2 gb of ram to the couch base couch base db but suppose you have uh, if you have only 4 gb of ram then you can provide it 5 12 mb or less if you want so first provide it like 1 gb this is the index ram quota so i will left it as 512 mb this is our host name click the next so it is saying that there are some samples available for bucket creation so we can take it for example one beer sample for sample bucket creation so this is the current bucket setting which you are setting for the beer default so for example i am getting around 100 mb for this ram so for this bucket you can also check or uncheck the update notification here you need to registered so you can provide your email id your name and your company name now this is something important secure this server this will be your admin username and password so fill it carefully so for example i give some meaningful or some rememberable username and you can also give it according to your convenience So this is our admin console of Couchbase DB. Here it is saying that loading beer sample. So this is your dashboard of Couchbase DB, and now we will first create any bucket for our uses. So go to the data bucket tab. Here are two buckets already created, which are for default purposes. So you can either delete it. or keep it as it is as it is so first create a new data bucket for example student here now you can see that other buckets have taken the 200 mb ram so i will provide the another 100 mb ram to this bucket now you are Uh, you can see here that this green symbol is showing that the 100 mb is allocated to this bucket from the 1 gb whenever you will create any another bucket that will be allocated to your cluster quota or cluster memory create this yellow symbol uh, symbol is showing that this currently it is in creation progress so it is done now so we can make some queries from this bucket so now we will go to the query tab so as i have previously said that this is a sql or you can say that it has the power of sql so you can make sql type of queries here okay so here also we need to create some kind of indexes for running this select queries so now we have download the couchbase db we have installed the db we have create the bucket so our next agenda is we will create some indexes the couchbase have its own indexes for its bucket for storing the document but for fetching the 
results with the help of sql query sql type of queries we need to specify one sequence one index for that particular bucket so for example this for this student table we will we'll need to create some kind of indexes so i have created one sample command for creating indexes so this is the index for the creation of index and here create primary index student is your name of the index and own student is the name of the table or you can say that name of the bucket so whenever you will uh you will provide some kind of name or uh, you can say that here you can also provide some std so it's all up to you so whatever name you will provided here you run this command you will get this kind of something that is currently we don't have any kind of data so result is empty and also you can see that how much time is elapsed how much execution time is result count and result size so we got the success and now index is implemented so again we will run now this command okay so it is now get the success and we get the blank array of results so we can also create the some document so that we can show there are some documents in the bucket so here are the documents there is no document currently so we can create we can provide the student id as the student 1 here we can provide some kind of data for example row number 1 class 3 so here student 1 is the id of this document and this is the document data so it is kind of schema less so there will be no uh, need to provide any kind of column definition or any kind of column information so we will now save it so it is saved successfully now again go to the query tab and let's execute the query okay so now we have the student where class is equal to third row number is equal to 1 so this is the kind of documents we will get from this bucket so again we can also perform some kind of delete so you can also see delete from student and we can see it is got successfully again now if you will select star from then it is blank so in this way we have set up the couchbase db and some kind of indexes on the couchbase db so this is for this tutorial and uh, if you like this tutorial then please uh, share it and also subscribe my channel so we will discuss some kind of optimization tricks in the couchbase db in my later video thank you thank you for watching